If you look at these pieces, I would argue that none of these pieces are truly like fashionable, but I feel like there's a very big difference between being fashionable and having like a style and I feel like when you dress to your style I feel like it doesn't matter if the pieces are relevant or fashionable according to like the times or what's going on as long as you wear it and it feels authentic to you and how you want to present yourself I feel like that's when people become stylish and that's where like aesthetics come from and that's kind of how you create, I guess, like that outward image that you want to show the world. Okay, so what up guys? Today I thought I would show you my thrifted clothes that I've had for probably the last couple months that I think this is probably split between like three to four thrift trips and I just haven't had the time to really go through everything and show y'all but I really feel like I've been doing good in finding thrift pieces. This is like my earthy girl island gal thrift haul and I may even throw in some fashion advice that I really don't feel qualified to give y'all but I don't know I feel like I'd be dressing so I feel like that makes me qualified regardless so yeah let me get into it so first things first I wanted to show y'all some outerwear and specifically this corduroy jacket that I thrifted like a month ago and I will say because I'm moving I've been trying to thrift that would be more relevant towards like cooler weather just because here in California honestly I get away with what I'm wearing now which is basically just some kind of like tank top and some shorts and I could practically live in this so it's gonna be kind of like a learning curve for me to actually dress to stay warm i found this corduroy jacket and this is what it looks like on me one thing that i thought was pretty unique about this is the embroidery one thing that i love doing because it is a thrift store and you already don't really get to choose what you find i love to find like unique pieces at the thrift store and things that I would probably have to go out of my way to like search online to find and conceptualize in my mind if I were to just like shop online or shop with a particular brand or market. So I love when I find pieces like this that kind of like do most of the work for me because putting this on over anything I feel like is already going to like set the vibe. And of course you can always accessorize too, but I don't know. I love when my clothes kind of like do have to work for me. So this is a great example. It is quite form fitting. Um, I'm typically not like a form-fitting girl, but I feel like this is the exception just because I feel like it fits that it's form-fitted versus something that's a little more baggy. And I also try not to repeat pieces in my closet as well. Like I have this other thrifted green corduroy and it's super oversized and it's a baggy fit. So I feel like this adds a little more dimension in my closet because I feel like if everything is super baggy, then I'm just going to feel like I'm doing the same outfit in like a different font. So yeah, I love to play around with textures and also like overall shapes of the items of clothing and what it will kind of like give me overall. And to sort of like stick with the jacket theme, um, I'm gonna show y'all this leather jacket that I thrifted as well. And it's crazy because I literally just told you I love corduroy, but I feel like arguably leather is my all time favorite textile. I feel like I always have leather in my outfits either it's like a purse or like i love leather jackets um or just anything that's leather i haven't really gotten into like the leather tops or like leather pants yet i don't really feel like that's particularly my style but i love a good like leather jacket or purse the thing about this jacket is i think it's super cute but it's very tight when i have it closed so i feel like this is something that i would probably wear over a fit I do like that it's long. I don't know if you can see that low, but it's on the longer side, which is nice because I feel like sometimes when your items drape, it kind of gives that cozy feeling. And depending on what you wear underneath it, I feel like it could just create a very like heavy piece. I would say in the ways that I've styled this, it would probably fall more on the artsy girl side, but that's kind of where I would say I'm not super specific with my aesthetic. I honestly just wear things that I like and I think are cool and typically they tend to kind of have a theme which is helpful for my closet and just overall not feeling like I have to buy new things every time I want to have like a fit but I would say in general I exist within that like artsy girl, earthy girl, I guess like 
sphere of aesthetic and style. All right, y'all, so let's get into some of these tops. As of right now, these are like my four favorite tops that I've thrifted. You can't tell by the way that I'm holding them, but I really love all these pieces and I feel like they've really helped me I guess kind of like hone in on the aesthetic and the vibe that I want to give off and so I'm going to show you each one and then tell you why I like each top specifically. And I'd also like to mention at the end of this video I think I'm going to kind of like do a lookbook for those who just want to see the fits together and less talking on my part which is fine. I do recommend that you watch the whole video and you like and you subscribe. Um, but you know what if you don't have time for that I yeah, just skip to the end and I will literally show you guys everything with less talking and more just like how I wear it and how it works with me. So this is top number one. This is, I think it's a size small, but the fabric is very giving and it's super stretchy and it actually is kind of like double layered, which is nice because I don't feel like I have to wear anything underneath it. I love to be comfortable, so the less I have to wear, the better. I used to kind of like shy away from prints like this, especially when I feel like they can get really soupy and loud depending on how you style it. But I feel like for the aesthetic that I'm going for and how I kind of want to like present myself, I think that this is a really nice foundational base top. And I could even like, I feel like with something like this on top of it, I feel like it actually ends up blending really well with other pieces. So this is something that I definitely wear in like cooler weather. It's nice, as you can see, it kind of has this like cinching in the front and it's not extremely low rise, but it is a V-neck, which I don't necessarily love, but I think it works for this shirt. Literally my cats like already destroyed it. Um, no surprise there. My cats love my closet and they like jump on things and try to climb up and so, I kind of have to hide it. It is a little on the long side. Typically I like my things cropped, so I do usually flip it anyways and it doesn't even matter. And you know what? Let me just show you, God. Let me just show you this skirt as well. It's like a long black basic skirt. Um, the brand is BB, which is cute. So it's kind of like a 90s brand and it's kind of just like a staple for me right now. Like, I don't know, it's cute. It's to the floor and I actually kind of like this band. I feel like that adds something to it as well. It's literally, covered in cat hair. I kind of feel like a witch when I wear this. So I feel like this is a very basic, non unaccessorized version of kind of like that witchy fairy grunge aesthetic. And I say unaccessorized because I feel like what really makes those styles is like the rings and you know, like a big coat or something and just kind of like layers. And I feel like that's what really kind of like makes a piece unique outside of just like the basic top and bottom and whatever else so this is kind of like my everyday go-to black long skirt super cute and it's comfy all right next up we have this shirt which you might think is a little similar to the last shirt is it inside out honestly i think they're very different from like the neckline with it sort of going like straight across here and the material is different look at the sleeves um yeah, I love this top. Let me show you. Um, I always wear these two pieces together. Um, I think it's super cute. And I think it can be worn just like this. I think that's fine. But this is what I actually end up doing all the time. I like to fold it up because everything that I wear is low-key like cropped. So I fold it in. And I take these long pieces in the back like this and I tie them. Oh my God, she can't tie right now. Uh, yeah, I tie them. I'm not gonna tie it all the way because then I'll have to untie it, but this is what it looks like from the back. So this is honestly like one of my favorite shirts, for real. And it's also super like special to me because I actually thrifted it in Spain. My family went to Spain last winter and this was one of two items that I thrifted while I was over there. And so it's just like a beautiful piece. It's like sentimental as far as when I got it and where I got it. And it's just like, it's just like adorable. Like, look at this, look at that. Yeah, this is my little like fairy top. 
Next on the list, I have this cute cami. If you guys can like see the detail, it kind of has these little like little like clear sequins that I don't know. I think it's just like a super cute detail. I also think the cut on the straps and the fact that it kind of has this like lace going around it also adds a lot of dimension along with these like ridges that go down the center so i just thought this was like a really visually kind of like interesting cami and i think it's a cool piece because camis aren't an essential and i feel like when you can find an essential that already has its own kind of like unique style to it i feel like that's like a really quick and easy hack to having an outfit that feels unique and genuine versus just throwing on a brown cami and, you know, kind of like calling it a day. You know what I'm saying? So that's also what's like super cool. Half your style is your confidence. I feel like it's always gonna come down to that regardless, you know, like if you're walking around in some like sweats and a dirty t-shirt or whatever, but you do it confidently, I feel like you're, it's gonna be a vibe, you know? So I feel like you can't shy away from your clothes and you can't shy away from what makes you feel comfortable if you want to be someone who feels like they have a style and they feel like they can be stylish like it really just comes down to how you wear the pieces and finding things that are comfortable for your body comfortable for you and really just highlight that personality and they are actually paired with these thrifted corduroy kind of like greenish um i don't know if these are flare or boot cut but honestly here I think I'm going to be doing this for every single style because it's the only way you guys can see uh, the entire outfit. I wore this out once. I really thought it was a vibe. I thought it was a look, but low key, I kind of feel like Shrek. Like, I feel like Fiona, I feel like Fiona cosplaying as her man's Shrek. That's really what it feels like. But, you know, I feel like one thing about the earthy girl aesthetic and being an earthy girl is it is not all like fairy dust and rainbows i look like a goblin i look like a gnome when i'm out of nature i'm like down i'm getting dirty you know i'm like a freaking creature so i feel like the outfit should match that too they don't always have to be super whimsical and like ethereal and pretty and like flowy it's giving shrek for real it's for real giving shrek um and yeah these pants specifically are really low rise and for whatever reason I think they're from Old Navy. They didn't come with like that back hook for a belt, which is unfortunate because like, how am I supposed to wear a belt with these? Like they're just gonna have to like creep down into my ass crack apparently. I think I actually got these at the same time. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, a lot of these clothes were actually found in the same thrift haul. I just happened to have a really good day that day. And so yeah, I got these corduroys and I found this top. Okay, so let's pause because this shirt right here i've had for months and i haven't worn it because there was this bad ass stain and you could low-key you you could low-key still kind of like see it but i went to work on this shirt to get the stain to where it is which i argue was kind of like not noticeable unless you knew it was there i pointed it out but i mixed what did i mix I was like researching concoctions. I think I ended up doing like a baking soda. It was like a baking soda dish soap um, non-water mix to just like draw out that color. Because I was like determined to make this shirt work. I think it's so cute. I think the pattern on it is super unique. And I feel like this is my like ode to California shirt because it's giving beachy earthy girl. It's giving siren. The crochet pattern on it is like these cute little spirals and they really remind me of seashells which is why i feel like it gives me that kind of like beachy girl vibes i tried looking up the brand to get some more information and i couldn't really find it but it's so cute and i wonder if it's handmade just because the pattern is so intricate but yeah and once again this is like your basic gen z long white pleated skirt nothing special there i also thrifted this but i just think they're cute together i feel like it kind of gives for real like a little angelic beachy girl siren i'm gonna pull you into the depths of the ocean and eat you vibes which i really like okay and real quick real quick 
this shirt is an honorable mention i love this shirt i think it's stunning um and the color is perfect i think it has a really unique beading on the front of it but as you can see it is extremely see-through and i don't feel like i have anything to put underneath it that would help the outfit like that would flatter the shirt itself so it's super frustrating and i haven't been able to wear it out just because it is a little too see-through for my comfortability level just because i don't really go anywhere where that would be like a sleigh be going to trader joe's and that would be kind of weird i am determined to find something to wear underneath it that would look nice so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know um i think i might just find like a really cute like champagne colored maybe like bralette or something or i wonder if even wearing like a really silky pretty tank top underneath it would be nice but i just don't want anything that would interfere with the neckline first of all and kind of just like draw away from it because it's just like gorgeous like look this is not how i would style it for sure this is just like a skirt but it's so cute I love it. I love it. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's mine now. Like, look at that. Aw. Moving on. Unfortunately. Um. Look at this. Yeah. Um. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. This is cute. This is cute. This is the first time that I actually put these two items together. I've not really had a chance to wear the top out just because it's a little warm for my liking. Um, but I've been looking forever for shorts that are these particular length and I found two pairs. I'm about to show you all the second pair, but this is actually just like such a cute fit. I really feel like I'm a thrifting god, goddess. I feel like I'm a thrifting goddess because like these pieces came to me. They came to me and they speak to me. I will say though, unfortunately, this top is sheen. Usually, even at the thrift store, I don't get sheen. I don't get Forever 21 or a lot of those like super cheap fast fashion brands. Um, I really try to look for unique and like genuine pieces and so typically if i see the tag of sheen it doesn't matter how cute i think it is i put it down but this was an exception because i looked at the tag right here on the collar and they didn't have a collar tag so i was like okay no brand like i'm good come to find out when i looked at it further the tag is like over here somewhere so i'd already bought it at that point and i really like it so we're gonna keep it but yeah these shorts and this top and my face go together very well yes another honorable mention is this skirt um i thought that i would like this skirt a lot more than i actually do just because the floral print is kind of like muted and i thought that was nice but i actually don't really like it that much i don't know it's it's just kind of like meh to me i think it's not really giving anything in particular and Maybe if I styled it better, I might like it, but I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's just like not really given for me. Uh, this is kind of like, this top is kind of like the one piece that falls outside of what I guess my intended aesthetic is when I go shopping and what I'm looking for. But this is also an example of something that I just thought was cute and different. And I feel like it gives more of like a cute 90s artsy girl vibe, which I'm also okay with. So let me show you because this is the second pair of shorts that I've thrifted that I absolutely love. They're pretty much the same kind of like length of style of the brown ones, but they're like this light wash denim. and. They're super cute. Usually I roll them up. Hold on. Usually I roll them up and they look like this, but I don't know. It just kind of gives me like, like 90s girl, like, yeah. And this top is cute. Um, let me show you. Oh my God, hold on. Um, what I thought was unique was this kind of like metal connector piece right here in the back. 
I thought that was a cool touch. And if my hair were styled differently, you know, I think you'd really be able to see that. And it would kind of like, you know, it's just like a little detail that I feel like would add to the style. And the color I think is really flattering as well. So yeah, this top and these shorts. These are like my favorite shorts right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I wear them all the time. Super cute. Yeah. These pants are arguably one of the coolest things that I've thrifted. Um, most definitely my favorite pants that I've thrifted, but overall, I feel like they're just like up there when it comes to just kind of like the cool scale. Like they're purple, they're purple pants. This top is from Free People. We're not gonna talk about it. It's already ripping too. Literally their stuff is cheap. Don't tell them I said that though. I think they just go well together. It's really giving like Harold and the Purple Crayon vibes. Y'all cannot even see it. Y'all can't see the fit. I, you guys really need to wait till the end of the video so you could see the like lookbook of all the pieces because I'm gonna shoot it in a way where you could actually see the whole fit um, and not just like the top half really. But yeah, so these are like, I guess like a staple cargo. Usually cargos are like that green color or like a khaki or a neutral. I just think it's super cool and different to have purple cargos. And I've been able to surprisingly style them in a lot of ways. Let me show you this top too. I've been pairing this also thrifted kind of like, I guess flannel as well over these, over these cargos in particular. Just because if you could see kind of like with the pattern, it has some purple in it and it's like, actually, I think it's red and blue, but red and blue make purple. So I feel like I really see purple whenever I look at it and I feel like it just adds like a really super nostalgic vibe to the whole fit. And honestly, one of my favorite color combinations is purple and green. So that's also a plus for me. I put these together regardless, but I really like purple and green and I feel like these two really complement each other and it definitely gives more of that like laid back, relaxed, kind of like off duty vibes, which I really like. Um, and it's super comfy. And so I actually wore this recently to the desert. I wore these cargos and I wore this top. And the pictures are on Instagram because I looked good. So you should go check it out. You should check out my Instagram, you should follow me. But yeah, so these cargos and this top, yes. I guess one thing I want to tell y'all is don't be afraid to experiment with color too. Include something different in your closet because once again, I feel like a broken record, but that's kind of how you create your own genuine style. Like that's how you make something that's unique to you. And this piece stands out, you know, like it honestly looks thrifted. It looks like I took my time finding these pieces and this is who I am. And finally, I just wanted to show y'all um, a couple dresses that I thrifted as well. So this is kind of just like, your basic bodycon um, dress. And I'm gonna never forget, when I found this dress, it was this one, and there was one right next to it, exactly the same, same brand and everything that was in black. And I should have gotten both of them. I didn't know how much I would like this dress, but I decided to go with green just because I actually have a lot of black dresses. So it's not like I was missing a black dress in my wardrobe, but I just absolutely love the fit of this one and of course i tried to go back and find it and it was already gone um but yeah i'm like super happy with this piece it's a really cute dress here you go very flattering in my opinion and let me show you something i discovered this combination a little bit ago when i was doing another video um yeah i think it's gorgeous look at them hold on look at these two together Oh my gosh. And like I said, I'm really trying to like dress for cooler weather. So I think this is so cute, like a way to add another layer. And I really like the monochromatic um, kind of like vibe going on. I feel like these greens really flatter each other. And I don't know, I feel like this color green always gives me like Liz Claiborne 90s vibes. So I think that's super cute and goes along with my artsy girl in the 90s personality. So here they are together. And yeah, so this dress. It's been really nice to wear in the summer and I feel like you could easily transition it into the fall and wear a coat over it or do different things to kind of just like add some warmth and some layers to the fit. So yes. And the final thing that I want to show you is this dress. 
Um, I feel like I'm freaking late to like a tea party in the woods. Like I'm about to chase that little white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. It is so flattering and cute and so like ethereal. Honestly, I can't say I have anywhere that I would wear it right now, but I saw it and I just knew that I had to get it. And it's actually from an other stories, which is like H&M's kind of like more refined line, but I don't know. I just think this dress is adorable and it's in like pristine condition. I wonder if the person who donated it even really wore it, but I'm glad they didn't because now it's in my closet and I'm excited to have it. But yeah, the detail of it is just like super cute and I love it. Okay, so let me just say one final thing before getting into the lookbook. I just really want to encourage y'all to experiment with color, experiment with fabrics and shapes to really like hone in on your style and your aesthetic. One thing that I love about the thrift store is that it forces you to be creative just because you can't show up and know what to expect. You kind of have to be on your toes and you have to be really open to what's there and kind of like have a vision about the pieces that you're seeing and ways that you could work to actually like incorporate them into your outfits, incorporate them into your wardrobe and just kind of like make something that's super unique to you. So. Yeah, these are the things that I've thrifted in the past couple months. I'm like a thrifting fiend, so I know for sure that I'll probably have another thrift haul, but this is it for now. This is kind of like my fall earthy girl thrift haul and what I'll be wearing this fall moving forward. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and here is the lookbook.